Next step, learn to dock. Gemini 8 sends up two rookies, Dave Scott and Neil Armstrong. I really believed that we wouldn't have any trouble with the docking based on the simulations we did. This is Gemini Control Houston. About two minutes ago, Neil Armstrong called in and he was able to confirm that radar lock had been established. The scene unfolds as if in slow motion. We've got a visual on the Agena. Even though both spacecraft are flying 10 times faster than a bullet. OK, Jimmy 8, you're looking good on the ground. Go ahead and dock. Armstrong and Scott nail it. Flight, we are back. Roger, Big Brother is watching. I bet those lucky guys are just jumping up and down. Mission Control celebrates the first docking in space, a necessary skill for Apollo's moonshot. Then Gemini 8 drifts around the Earth, out of contact with Houston. Murphy's Law says bad things always happen at the worst possible time. Without warning, the two docked spacecraft begin to spin. We first suspected that the Agena was the culprit they shut down the Agena's control system. But the spinning gets worse, and the astronauts get dangerously dizzy. When the raids became quite violent, I concluded that we couldn't continue. We had to get ourselves separate. I was afraid we might lose consciousness. With blurry eyesight, they ditch the Agena, thinking that's the culprit. So they back off from the Agena. And rather than the, the spinning slowing down, it speeds up. When Houston gets back in range, they find the crew in crisis. The problem isn't the Agena. One of the capsule's own thrusters is stuck open and they don't know it. It's now spinning once per second, and the crew is in danger of blacking out. Neil realizes that the only way he's gonna stop the spinning is to use the big thrusters. The big thrusters are meant only for re-entry, but Armstrong has to engage them to wrestle Gemini 8 back from the brink. mission rules were that if you engage the uh, re-entry system, that's the end of the mission. They have to come home, making the U.S. space program's first emergency landing. A lot of unexpected things happen, and usually they're not the ones you practice. 